what attracted you to Rochelle? Uh, look, he was highly performed at the under-16, so that's really, the, we knew about him before the 16 Nationals, but the fact that he performed so well as a midfielder and won the medal, he was clearly on the radar. You know, you walk out of the under-16s and you probably have 10 to 15 players where you go, well, he looks like a first-round pick in his draft year, um, and it, it ended up that way, but obviously there was a fair bit of COVID and a lot of interruptions in between, so the fact that he got to play 13 games was a real positive for us. We did get to see him, and the, the games at the start of this year, the game against Geelong when he played for Australia, um, so he had a good body of work, and he performed pretty well, and he was probably the one who'd kick goals, like he'd kicked six, he's kicked two, lots of three as a 16 year old in the NAB League, so he'd been the midfielder forward that probably kicked the most goals, and he's exciting. He's powerful, he's confident, um, he's got a lot of what we like and a lot of what we need, and that was a part of the ground we want to try and address with the power. Um, so he can play midfield, that'll take some time, we we'll have to build his engine up a bit, but he, he's pretty fit at the moment given they haven't played much footy, so he's pretty well prepared. Draft player, as it, it did for us at the top. Um, draft played out as we would expect. There was a few curveballs in there, so there's some players that probably went a bit earlier than we expected. So now there's some good players on the board for us for tomorrow. So we'll have some discussions about how we plan that out. Can we move back in and try and get a pick in the early 20s and pick off one of the boys that are left, or will we just hold our own pick at the moment? How's the last week or so been for you personally? Yeah, look. Last week, we, a lot of our work had been done. We just had to wait till the exams finished. We went back to Shepparton to see Josh. We hadn't been able to meet his family over the last two years because of COVID. So once we got the chance, exams had finished and we could get him to Shepparton, we went straight up there to see the family. Um, yeah, they, they were really, they knew he was going to be going in the first five, six or seven picks and there were some interstate teams in there. So they had their head around the fact that he would be moving the state and he's already been at boarding school for two years. So that's a nice start. So the family were really pleased. They're, they're ecstatic tonight. Um, everyone from the club's got to meet them all. So that's gone really well. So they had their head around moving and Josh clearly had his head around. He knew it was probably going to be us or Fremantle or one of the teams at the top. So we've been able to do a bit of work with him over the last couple of weeks and um, continually talk. Nixie's spoken to him a few times, so we were pretty ready to go and well prepared tonight, and so was he. So not to tomorrow, what should fans expect? Um, well, I think, uh, I hope our fans will be excited. I'm sure they will be. I'm confident they will be with what we bring in. Um, if it goes to plan, um, I, I think now we'd like to try and get another pick in. Whether we can do that or not, you've always got to have someone who's prepared to sell. We're probably prepared to buy at the moment. It's just a matter of how much we want to give up. But our pick in the 30s looks a good pick now, so I'm really confident we're going to get a player that we've had targeted to that pick, and then um, we might need a little bit of luck to ride it through to the last pick, but um, I think we'll try and maybe, we've, addressed, we've been fortunate, we've addressed a need with speed and power forward of the ball with Josh, which is good, and we may be able to get some more speed in through our next two picks, I think.